Now for the Lightning Jim adventure, Lightning Jim's brand. In the small jail at Fort Anderson, Lightning Jim's deputy, Whitey Lawson, is opening the door to one of the cells. Here, Ben, we cop. Uh, what? We cop, it's time to eat, you know. Ain't you hungry? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can stow some grub, I reckon. Well, what do you got there? Bean spread and coffee. It's uh, very fancy, but that's good enough to fill you up. Yeah. Beans, bread, and coffee. And for breakfast, it'll be coffee, bread, and beans. And for lunch, it's bread, coffee, and beans. <laughs> oh, well, that's plenty good, you know. You're the only prisoner we got in here right now. Yeah. But I got an idea I ain't gonna be here long. Well, you only got five more months to go, I think. Now... No, I'm getting now. Oh! How long, law badge? Whitey, Whitey, what you doing locked in that cell? Where's Ben? I don't know where he is. What happened? Well, I brought in his food, and he hit me on the shin, and. When I woke up, I was locked up in here. So you let Ben Barlow get away? No, I didn't let him get away. He, he just went. He told the key and let me out to her. Yeah, fine deputy you are. We only had one prisoner in jail and he got the best of it. You are, but you just wait till I get my hands on him. Come on, Lightning. Get all the key and unlock the door. Ah, you're in no condition to go out now, Whitey. Yes, that's so. Yeah, I'm going to let you stay here while I go out and get the prisoner. Hey, Lightning, you can't do that. Oh, yes, I can do that. You've got to get your strength back. So start eating that food you brought for Ben. Beans, bread, and coffee is good for a week, deputy. So long, Whitey. Hey, Lightning, you can't do this. Go back here. Lightning, Lightning. <laughs> well, it looks as though Whitey has a few troubles of his own, doesn't it? In the days of the Old West, the United States Marshals and their deputies helped the troopers and local peace officers to establish and maintain law and order on the frontier. Those thrilling and exciting days on the Western Plains come back to us now in the adventures of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. And now, let's return to Lightning Jim and Whitey in the jail at Fort Anderson. Uh, yeah, little lightning, I thought you was really going to let me stay locked up in this year. <laughs> well, it should have. Reckon I'm getting soft-hearted. Why do you ought to be ashamed of yourself letting a jasper like Ben Barlow get the best of you? Your Well, what's the use of crying over spilled milk or something? We got to get after that Jaeger and bring him back. Huh? Yeah, but you said you didn't know where he went. Well, how do I know where he went? Sure, that's right. You were sleeping when he walked out. Hey, Lightning, I think you're looking for a good punch in a nose or something. <laughs> no, why do you save that for Ben? No, oh, I'll take care of him, all right. Yeah, see that you do. But right now, we've got to get down to some serious thinking. Now, let's get the facts. Sure. Right. Ben Barlow handled the Brandon Irons on the Bar B ranch. That's owned by John Banks. Now, as I got the story, Ben was kind of sweet on Mr. Banks' daughter, Ellie. Sure, that's right. And that didn't set right with Curly Fair, the top hand on the Bar B. Curly's had his eye on Ellie, too. Yeah, they were both after the same girl, and they had the fight. Right. Curly was getting the best of the argument when Ben drew his gun. He fired, missed Curly, and hit Mr. Banks in the arm. 
rest of the boys on the ranch jumped in and then was brought in here, tried and sentenced to six months in jail. Is that right? You and I thought he was a nice feller, but I changed my mind. Yeah, you mean he changed your mind. Yeah, but he ain't going to get the waiver hit in a dip and a morsel and break in yell, I tell you that. Well, we're never going to catch him sitting around just talking about it. Come on, let's get a horse. Uh, where we going? Uh, first off, we've got an idea we ought to drop in at the Bar B Ranch. Oh, you think Ben will go back there? Well, uh, maybe. Leastwise, we can warn Mr. Banks to be on the lookout for him. You see, Whitey, Mr. Banks is also a banker at uh, Rosedale. That's two miles south of the Bobby Ranch. Hey, oh, oh. Stop off at the bank first and then go on up to the ranch. Yo, oh, and the quicker we get there, the, the sooner. Come on. <laughs> Feeling, Pa? Oh, all right, I guess, Ellie. I just didn't have to carry it around in this confounded sling. Well, the doctor said you could take it off in a few days. A few days, nothing. I'm taking it off right now. Now, Pa, I wouldn't do that. Oh, never mind. I know what I'm doing. Arm feels all right. You were sure lucky that Ben Trout only got you in the arm, Pa. Yeah, and the six months in jail was letting that critter off easy. We ought to strung him up. But Ben wasn't shooting at you. Well, that don't make no difference. He was aiming to drill Curly, and that's just as bad. Yeah, I know. Pa, do you really believe that Ben was branding and stealing our calves? Of course he was. But nobody proved he did. That ain't the point. We was losing calves, and Curly said he caught Ben out on the range with a fire and branding iron. It's again the law to brand calves or mavericks outside of Roundup time or in the corral. Yes, I know that, too, but... I still say nobody proved that Ben branded and stole our calves. Just because Curly said so ain't enough. Well, Curly's word's good enough for me. And besides, Ben wasn't put in jail for stealing calves, but for shooting at Curly and hitting me. Hey, are you trying to stand up for that poor cat? Oh, of course I ain't. But Ben worked for us a long time, and it seems funny that this had to come up all of a sudden like. The horse is ready, boss. No, all right, Curly. Where are you going, Pa? I'm riding to Rosedale. Got some business to look after at the bank. But you've been going down there every night this week. Can't help it. If a man tries to run a ranch and a bank at the same time, he can't worry about hours. Well, please be careful, Pa. Careful? Huh. Reckon I know how to look out for myself. Don't wait up for me. I might be late. What do you want, Curly? Anything you want done before I turn in? No, I reckon not. It's uh, mighty pretty out tonight. A full moon and lots of stars. Mm, that's so? Mm-hmm. Mm, reckon I've been too busy to notice. I uh, thought you might like to take a little ride down to the waterfall. No, thanks. I'm too tired. But you've been in the house all day, and I thought a little ride might make you feel better. Not tonight. It sure is nice and cool and spring-like down by the waterfall. Curly, I told you I don't want to go out tonight. What's the matter, Miss Ellie? Are you mad at me? No, I ain't mad at you, Curly, but... But I ain't so sure that Ben Barlow was guilty of branding and stealing our calves. Well, sure he was guilty. And a little touch in the head, if you ask me. Curly, you never liked Ben from the start, and you ain't got no right to say that. Well, he sure acted mighty funny. Seems kind of strange, you sticking up for him like this. Listen, perhaps you was, uh, sweet on him. Oh, so that's it. You was jealous of him, too. Now, listen, Miss Ellie. If a cattle thief and varmint like Ben Barlow is your idea of a man, you can have him. Pull him up, Curly. Huh? Ben Barlow? Yeah. So you broke jail, huh? Shut up and face the wall. Oh, oh, what are you doing here, Ben? Just a minute, Miss Ellie. Now, Curly, you stay right where you are and don't make a move or I might forget myself and pull the trigger. Oh. I'm taking your gun first, Curly. There. Now turn around and keep your hands in the air. Listen, you've got no right to come in here like this. Maybe not. But who's going to stop me? Nobody's going to stop you now, Ben. But if you broke jail, the law's going to catch up with you. <laughs> you know, that's a mighty pretty speech, Miss Ellie. The law said I was guilty of shooting your pa. Well, I did hit him. But you know he wasn't the one I was after. But you was aiming to kill Curly. Yeah. But my aim wasn't so good. And next time, it'll be better. Curly said I was branding and stealing Bobby calves. Ain't that what you said, Curly? You had your trial, Ben. Ain't nothing more for me to say. Well, this time, I'm putting you on trial, mister. Do you still think I branded and stole them calves? I ain't talking. 
sure you don't. And maybe you was right. <laughs> uh, maybe you didn't know this, Miss Ellie, but Curly here accused me of being sweet on you. <laughs> well, how about it, Curly? That's a lie. I didn't say no such thing. Yes, you did. You said as how you thought I ought to clear out before things got too hot for me. Then you slapped leather and I beat you to the draw. If the boss hadn't stepped in, I'd have got you straight. Well, do you still think I'm sweet on Miss Ellie? I reckon you can answer that one. <laughs> yeah. And Curly, maybe you was right again. <laughs> and I figure we ought to let the lady decide that. Miss Ellie, this critter ain't got nerve enough to come right out and say what he thinks. So I'm giving you a chance to decide which one of us you want to get hitched to. <laughs> well, what's so funny about that? Why, I wouldn't have either one of you galoots if you was the last man on earth. Then, I wasn't so sure you was guilty of branding and stealing our calves, but after what you just said, I reckon Paul's right. You're a no-good sidewinder. That's your answer? Sure. And what you gonna do about it? Plenty. I reckon this trial's over. And the verdict is guilty. <laughs> Yeah, this is one time when Ben Barlow is the judge, jury, and law. Wait, wait, wait. You can't shoot me down like this. <laughs> nah. Now I ain't shooting you down yet, Curly. <laughs> I'm aiming to fix you with a punishment you won't never forget. <laughs> <laughs> Right are coming off the trail yonder. No, but see, that don't look like the Yiga Vera. No, that ain't Ben. Whoa there, whoa. You pin him in a dead pen deep. Howdy, Dave. Howdy, boy. What you doing out this time of night? No, just going up to my shack, that's all. Well, you found any more gold, Dave? <laughs> uh, not lately, ain't. But I'm working a spot up in the hills. It sure looks mighty good. Yeah, sure. I never see the spot that look better. Hey, how'd you fellas like to buy an interest in McLean? Well, I don't know about that, Dave. What do you think, Whitey? Well, uh, if I'm sure of a score there, you... <laughs> oh, there's plenty of gold there, all right. Why, I've been prospecting these hills for 50 years. I know every spot. But you ain't found the gold mine yet, have you, Dave? Uh, not yet, but, but I will one of these days. And when I do, I'll be a millionaire. Yes, sure, I'll have enough money to buy up the whole country and live like a king. <laughs> hey, what you say, boys? Hey, Fifty dollars apiece, and I'll put you in for half of all I get. Fifty dollars for half? That sounds like a bargain, Whitey. Yo, say, I'd pay fifty dollars in the day to get a million dollars, huh? <laughs> well, it's up to us, sure as you're living. Uh, same old Dave. Well, I reckon you'll have to pass us up this time, partner. The thief were out on official business. Oh, that's so? Uh, who you after? A chap by the name of Ben Barlow. Ben Barlow? Yeah. Uh, mean the fella used to work for John Banks at the Barbie Ranch? Oh, that's him. Uh, he, he got put in jail for shooting up the old man. That's right, but he broke jail today. He broke jail? Uh, how come? I reckon Whitey can answer that. Yeah, well, never mind how he got to leave. <laughs> All right, Whitey, you don't have to tell the gruesome story. You see, Dave Ben hit Whitey in the jaw and made a clean getaway. Oh, nice. Yeah. Jumping G. Hoshafat. You know Ben Barlow beside Dave? Oh, yeah, but uh, he ain't been up where I've been. Uh, but I'll keep a sharp eye out. Uh, where are you heading? We're aiming to stop off at the Barbie Ranch. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, well, good luck to you, boys. And if you change your mind about buying in on McLean, let me know. <laughs> All right, Dave. Uh, another thing, uh, Whitey, if that fella hits you like Jim said, uh, I reckon your chin not to be put ashore. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you drop by my shack and I'll give you some special liniments. I use it on the horses and mules. Sure works. <laughs> well, so long, boys. Oh, <laughs> Horse oh. ornaments. Say, uh, when I get through with Ben Barlow, I think I got to fix Dead Pan Dave's too, by <laughs> Stanley. Come on, Thunder. <laughs> Who's 
gun to woo, boy. Whoa, boy. Whoa. Whoa. Howdy, Mr. Banks. Well, Lightning Jim and Whitey. Well, glad to see you, boy. You're very glad to see you, too. Yeah, what's up? Just on our way to your ranch. Oh, so? Yeah, Ben Barlow broke jail. What? Why, that low-down quitter. When did he get out? A few hours ago. I know he's got it in for you and your top hand, so I figured he might show up at your ranch. Well, if he does, there won't be no need for a trial the next time. Hanging is too good for him. Well, we got to take him according to law. Well, there's only one kind of law to fit Ben Barlow. Half loco sidewinder. Well, I suggest we go back to your ranch, Mr. Banks, and lay low in case Ben decides to show up. Good idea. I was just going down to Rosedale to do some work at the bank, but that can wait. Uh, are your boys stored back at the ranch, Mr. Banks? No, they're out on Roundup. All except my top hand, Curly Fair. He's supposed to go out in the morning. What about your daughter? Why, Ellie's back to the ranch. Well, then let's get a move on. Let's go thunder. <laughs> Will Lightning Jim, Whitey, and Mr. Banks get to the Barbie Ranch in time to catch Ben Barlow? You'll hear the exciting climax of this Lightning Jim adventure in part two, which follows immediately. for part two of the Lightning Jim adventure, Lightning Jim's Brand. We join the Marshal, Whitey, and John Banks, owner of the Barbie Ranch, as they approach the ranch house. Whoa, Thunder, whoa, boy. Oh, whoa, boy. Whoa, boy. Whoa. Well, come on, boys. Right with you, John. Yo. Uh, I reckon Ellie's going to bed. Told her not to wait up for me. Just a second, boys, and I'll light the lamp. See, light in the what if that you girl don't show up there. Well, we'll have to pick up a new trail. Here we are, boys. Plenty of light now. You don't be here, Minnie. Look over there on the floor. It's like, good Lord, it's Ellie. Yes, tied and gagged. Sure. Yeah, well, untie that rope around her wrist, Lightning. I'll take off the gag. Yeah, give me your knife, Whitey. Sure, here you are. There. Oh, oh, oh that thing was choking me. Well, what happened, Ellie? Who done this? Wait. Wait till I get... This rope loose. Easy now. Yeah. There you are. Now, here, give me your hand. Thank you. Now, who knows? It was Ben Barlow. You've been him and he's been there already. Well, what happened, Ellie? Well, let me get my breath. About an hour ago, I was talking to Curly, and all of a sudden, a door opened. And in walked Ben with a gun in his hand. Yeah? He, then what? Well, he made Curly face the wall, and Ben took his gun. Said he was going to get even with Curly for accusing him of stealing our calves and starting a fight that you got shot in, Pa. Uh, did he shoot Curly? No, made me tie up Curly's hands, and then he tied me up. He poked a gun in Curly's back and marched him outside. I heard the horses start up and head north. And that's all till you come in. I told you, Lightning, he's a killer. Just a minute, John. Besides what you told us, Miss Banks, did Ben want money? No. Did he ask about your father? Yes, and before I could stop him, Curly blurted out that Pa had gone down to the bank at Rosedale. I see. You say they're headed north. Yeah. Well, you got to do something, Lightning, or Curly's a boner, sure. Well, it's dark and won't be easy to pick up the trail. We'll head north a ways and see what we can find. Well, I'm going with you. Oh, so you stay here with Ellie until Whitey and me get back. If we can't pick up the trail now, we'll round up a posse from the ranch. Come on, Whitey. Try any funny business or I'll drill you, understand? Sure. Now, listen, Ben, if it's money you want... Money? <laughs> nah. Nah, I ain't after money. That'd be letting you up too easy. Well, uh, if you're aiming to drill... Shut me, up. I... Somebody's coming. 
Remember, I got this gun in your back. Howdy, strangers. What can I do for you? Put him up and tape him up. You say, you say, what should be the idea? I said put him up quick. Uh, don't shoot, mister. I ain't toting a gun. Say, ain't you Ben Barlow? Yeah, and you're deadpan Dave. Why, sure. And this fella with you is a top hand at the barbie. <laughs> yeah, me and him's got a little business to fix up. And you're going to help us. Uh, what, what you want me to do? Rustle up some wood and build up a fire out here in front of the shack. Oh, but you don't have to do that. I've got a stove in the shack. All right, build it in there. Uh, sure. A uh, wood's round back. Uh, I'll go get it. You stay right where you are, Curly. I got something here in the saddlebag that'll interest you. <laughs> I reckon you've seen these before, Curly. A branding iron. Yeah. <laughs> A branding iron. <laughs> the Barbie branding iron. And it's for you. What do you mean? Just what I said. You know, a maverick calf is a stray calf that don't belong to nobody. And a cowman's got a right to brand a maverick. But I don't follow you. What's this got to do with me? <laughs> well, Curly, I kind of figure that you're a low-down maverick calf that ain't got no sense. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm aiming to put this brand on you so you won't forget to keep your nose out of other folks' No, business. no, 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 you can't do Ah, that. yes, I can. I get in that shack before I lose my temper and drill you. Oh, that's a good boy. Oh. I think we better go back to the ranch, Lightning. There ain't no use trying to pick up a trail in the dark like this. I reckon so, Whitey. Come up quite a piece in this canyon. Don't seem to be no sign of Ben and Curly. We go back to the ranch, pick up a posse, and start out at daybreak. You, Benny and Miss, there's somebody in those bushes. Hey, don't shoot. Then come out with your hands up. Lightning, it's me. Don't shoot. You, Benny and Miss, that's dead pan deer. Oh, Lord, I sure am glad to see you, boy. What you doing prowling around in the brush, Dave? It's, it's Ben Barlow. He's up at my shack, what? and he's got Curly with him. Right, yeah. Gally, let's go after him, chick. Hold on, Whitey. Where's your shack, Dave? It's about three miles up the canyon. Yeah. Uh, when I come up to my shack, there he was. Yeah. Uh, Curly was tied up, and Ben was holding a gun on him. Yeah. Uh, ben told me to rustle up some wood for a fire. Uh, I told him the wood was in the back of the shack, but yeah. uh, instead of getting the wood, I made a break for it. <laughs> I couldn't get my horse, so I had to come on foot. Uh, I was heading for the Barbie Ranch. Good work, Dave. Give me a hand and get up here on thunder. Yeah, sure. Well, there you are. Uh, now, hang on. We're heading for your shack pronto. Let's go thunder! <laughs> Uh, right ahead of us. Yeah. Got your guns ready, buddy? Yo, let's go. We'll come up on the side. Easy now. Uh, don't hear nothing. Careful, boys, careful. All right in there. Come out with your hands up or we'll blast you out. Come, come in. Help me. I'm tied up. Hey, that's Curly. That you, Curly? Yeah. Hurry up. Ben's going back to the ranch. You said Ben's going back to the ring. Come on, Rick. Careful lightning. Maybe that's a trap. The light from the fire. See through the window. Yep. It's a hush curry lying on the floor. Ben's gone, sure enough. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hurry up and untie these ropes. Yeah, They're yeah, killing sure, me. Sure, we'll, we'll get you out of this. Got them ropes around his legs, Whitey. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> there you are. There you are, Curly. You reckon you can get up now? He's going back to the Bar B ranch to get Ellie. Lightning, look at his face. Jump him, gee, Hoshaphat. Ben branded him on the face. Yeah, he's gone plumb loco. Brought me up here and branded me. And now he's gone back for Ellie. Then we got to get back there pronto. You come with me on Thunder, Curly. Why do you take Dave on your horse? You're sure. Come on, we ain't got no time to lose. <laughs> You didn't figure I'd be coming back, did you? Ben, what are you doing here? What did you do to Curly? Thought you wasn't interested in Curly. Said you wouldn't have me or him if we was the last men on earth. You won't get away with this, Ben. <laughs> no. Now uh, you hand over that cash you just took out of your safe, boss. Oh, go on, Pa. Give it to him. That's right, Miss Ellie. 
I kind of figure that we'll be needing it. What do you mean, we'll be needing it? Just what I said. I'm taking you with me. No, no, you don't. Easy, boss. I'm pointing this gun at your heart. Curly was right. I was branding and taking your calves. I took care of Curly. And now I'm taking your daughter. Why, you're a madman. Maybe so. <laughs> but I got sense enough to know what I want. Well, Miss Ellie, are you coming with me or do I pull this trigger on your paw? Oh, Ben, Ben, listen to me. The last time I was aiming for Curly and got your paw in the arm. This time I don't aim to miss. Are you coming? Reach for the sky. Quick! No, no, you don't. Let's see what he's Oh, thank the Lord for that. He sure got what was coming to him. Curly, your face. Oh, don't worry about me. I'm all right. Didn't put a brand and iron on him, miss. Oh, oh, that's terrible. Oh, it'll heal up, I reckon. Ben put his brand on me, but Ben didn't figure he'd be getting lightning Jim's brand. A bullet plumb between the eyes. Your enlightening yimp's brand don't heal up so quick. That's right, Whitey. It's a brand that every killer and outlaw deserves. Ellie, you'd better help Curly fix up them burns. Sure, Pa. Just a minute, Miss Ellie. Mm -hmm. I, I'm powerful sorry for saying what I did about you and Ben. Oh, that was my fault, Curly. You and Pa was right and I was wrong. Well, if it means anything to you... I won't mind carrying the Barbie brand for the rest of my life. Any cattle or man that's got a Barbie brand belongs to me. Come on, Curly. We'll go get something for that burn. <laughs> <laughs> well, Lightning, looks like you helped to patch up some busted romance. <laughs> yeah. Well, John, you was right about Ben. Went loco trying to get revenge. Yeah, sure <clears throat> did. Craziest man I ever seen. Hey, what are you doing here, Dave? Oh, just kind of helping out Lightning Jim and Whitey, that's all. Don't be so modest, Dave. You see, John, Dave escaped from Ben, met us on the trail, led us back to his shack where Ben was holding Curly. So I'd say most of the credit for catching Ben goes to Dave. Oh, shucks, it wasn't nothing at all. Well, then I think he ought to get the reward. Yeah. Uh, reward? Uh, what you talking about? Well, Ben was aiming to rob me of $5,000 in cash. I figured the reward for catching this critter ought to be about $1,000. Here you are, Dave. Uh, $1,000? Holy smoke. That's all right, Dave. For 50 years, you've been prospecting for gold. And up until now, you ain't had much luck. This is your big strike, Dave, and you really earned it. Hey, 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 wait a minute. What's trouble, Whitey? Uh, well, you know, uh, Dave offered me one half interest in any gold he found. Yeah? Well, I got $50 here, and I want to buy one half interest in Dave's uh, thoughts and dollars. <laughs> <laughs> And so ends another thrilling chapter in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy, Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.